Namaskar and Salam. In this video, we will take the letters Noon and Vow. The first letter Noon represents Na sound and letter in Hindi and it also represents the nasal sound that comes in the middle of a word. Noon also has four different forms, detached, initial, medial and the final forms. The initial and medial forms of Noon are similar to the Bay group with the Nukta on top and the final and detached forms have a deeper curve than the Bay group letters. Here in this table, the first one is detached noon as you find in the alphabet sheet. The initial form looks like this and the medial form looks like this. Here in this picture, the green circle shows where the previous letter will be connected with noon and the red circle shows where the following letter will be connected. The detached and the final forms are more or less the same except the final form is attached to the previous letter. Just like the Bay group letters, Noon also has alternate forms. The first one is a little higher shosha, a little higher stroke, and the second one is the slanted line with Nukta on top. Let's now take some words. The first word is Namak, meaning salt. Here, Noon is the first letter and takes the initial form. The spelling is Noon plus Meen plus Kaf, Namak, Namak. The shape of noon here is the alternate one because the next letter is meme. It is just a slanted line with nukta on top. So noon is connected to meme and then meme takes the medial form and the last letter kaf takes the final form. So noon plus meme plus kaf na ma ka, namak. The second word is panap that means flourish, the root of the verb panapna. Here, noon comes in between two letters and takes the medial shape. The spelling is pe plus noon plus pe, pana pa, panap. The first letter pe takes the initial form which is connected to noon that takes the medial form. And the last letter pe takes the final form. So, pe plus noon plus pe, pana pa, panap. The third word is man, meaning mind. Here, noon takes the final form. The spelling is meme plus noon, ma na, man. Meme takes the initial form and connects with noon. Noon is the final letter and it takes the final form. So, meme plus noon, ma na, man. And the final word is dan, meaning donation. Here, noon comes as a detached letter. The spelling is dal plus alif plus noon. Here, all three letters are non connector and detached. The first one is dal. And the second one is alif in the function of Hindi A matra. It will not connect to dal because dal is non connector. Then noon will also not be connected to alif because alif is also a non connector. Noon will be written separately as a detached letter. So dal plus alif plus noon, dan, dan. Here are all the words we have taken with noon. The first one is Namak, where Noon comes as the initial letter. The second one is Panap, where Noon has the medial shape. The third word is Man, where Noon has the final form. And the last word Dan, where Noon comes as a detached letter. We will now take the next letter, Vau. The letter Vau represents the sound and letter V in Hindi. Vau behaves both as a consonant V and also the vowels O, O and long O in Hindi. In this video, we will take Vau as the consonant V. Vau in the function of vowels will be taken in one of the later videos. Another feature of Vau is that it is a non-connected letter. It will not connect to the letter that comes after it, but it will connect to the letter that comes before it. That means the initial and the detached form will be the same and the medial and the final forms will also be the same. Here in this table, you see all the forms. The green circle in this picture shows how the previous letter will be attached with the letter Vau. And the following letter will not be attached because Vau is non-connector letter. Let's now take some words. The first word is Vaha, the third person singular subject pronoun, he, she and it. In Urdu, the same pronoun is also used for third person plural subject pronoun, meaning they. The spelling is Vau plus Choti He, Vaha, Vaha. Since Vau is non connector, the Choti He will be written as a detached letter. So, Vau plus Choti He, Vaha, Vaha. 
The next word is Nawab, meaning an aristocrat. The spelling is Noon plus Wow plus Alif plus Be. Here, Wow comes in between two letters, so it will take the medial form, which is same as the final form. The letter after Wow is Alif, which will not connect to Wow because Wow is non-connector. And it comes as an A matra on Wow. Wow. The last letter B will also not connect to Alif because Alif is non-connector too. So, Noon plus Wow plus Alif plus B, Nawab, Nawab. And then let's take the two words with Wow together. The first one is Wah, where Wow comes as the first and also as the detached letter. And the second one is Nawab, where Wow comes as the medial letter, which is same as the final. In our next video, we will take the letters Choti He and Do Chashmi He. The Choti He represents her sound and letter in Hindi, and Do Chashmi He is used for aspiration of stop consonants. See you there. Namaskar and Salam.